I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. I know my Redeemer liveth. He liveth forevermore. I know my Jesus live. I know my Jesus live. Oh, I know my Jesus live. He live forevermore. Oh yeah, I know my Redeemer live. I know my comfort I live. I know my Jesus live. He live forevermore. He live. No, my Redeemer live. Oh, I know my Esha live. I know my Redeemer live. He live forevermore. When I come out to the old home, I will never go this when I come on to thee, O Lord, I will never go this way. When I come on to thee, O Lord, as I come this morning, I will never go this way, Daddy. We have come on to thee, O Lord. We will never go this way. We have come on to thee, O Lord. I will never go this way. We have come on to thee, O Lord. I will never go this day. We have come on to thee this morning. We will never go this day. Oh, we have come on to thee, O Lord. We will never go this day. I have come on to thee, O Lord. I will never go this day. When we come on to thee, O Lord, I will never go this way. And I come on to thee, O Lord. Talk to God this morning as you come unto the Lord that you will not go this way. When I come on to thee, O Lord, I will never go this way. When we come on to thee, O Lord, we will never go this way. Eternal Father, the King of all glory, I want to thank you because you are worthy to be praised. I want to thank you because as we come on to thee this morning, Daddy, I will not go the same. Daddy, oh Lord, we have come with 300, but we will not live here and remain the same. Precious Father, I know you are said to do us good this morning. I know, my Father, you are going to do something new in our life this morning. Precious Father, here we are in your presence, Lord. In your presence, there are fullness of joy. In your presence, O Lord, there are freedom. In your presence, there are liberty, Lord. In your presence, there are breakthrough, O Lord, my Father. In your presence, there are signs and wonder. Father, this morning, you are going to do us good because we have come unto thee. I know, my Father, in glory, whenever we gather, you always do us good. Therefore, eternal Father, I pray this morning you will do us good again. Holy Spirit of the living God, I know, my Father, that this morning you are going to do us good because your children have come to you, Father. Precious Redeemer, I want to thank you because you are with us this morning. I want to thank you because you are going to do great things in the life of your children this morning. As we go into charismatic hour of prayer, precious Father, you are going to knock out things that need to be knocked out this morning. You are going to build the things that need to be built this morning. Lord, you are going to frustrate those that need to be frustrated now. All the enemy. Lord, I know my father, after this morning session, precious Redeemer, you are going to do something great in the life of your children. Precious Father, I want to bless you because the earth is the Lord and the spirit of the Lord. 
I want to thank you because you are the head of all principalities and power. I want to thank you because whatever that brings you, that is what you do. My father, nobody question you. You are a questionable God. But Lord, you have decided to bless your children this morning. I pray, Holy Ghost, that you will come down and pray, my father, in glory. But at the end, we have the cause to glorify. Blessed be the Holy Name, Father. Thank you this morning for what you have promised to do. Thank you for what you are going to do this morning. Thank you because your word never fails. Your word never lies. The God that never lies, Lord, take absolute control, Lord. This morning, I want you to present yourself before the Lord. I want you to dedicate yourself again before the Lord. Tell the Holy Ghost, Lord, I surrender my life unto you. I dedicate my life. I dedicate my entire family into your evil hand. Tell the Lord to come down and have his way in your life. Tell the Lord, I invite you into my life this morning. I invite you, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Invite Jesus into your life. Let Jesus to come and reign in your heart. Let Jesus to come down and have his way in you. Tell the Lord, I need your presence this morning. Tell the Holy Ghost, Lord, I welcome you into my heart. Father, come and reign in my life this morning. Holy Father, we want to thank you, Father, because you say where two or three are gathered in your name, you are there this in their midst. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we welcome your presence this morning, O oh Lord, into our heart. Father, I welcome you, Holy Spirit, into my soul. I welcome you to my mind. I welcome you, O oh Lord, my Father, into the life of your children. I pray, Holy Spirit of the living God, that you will come down and have the way in our heart. Lord, come and take absolute control over our heart. Father, we surrender our heart unto you. Lord, we invite you into our heart this morning. Lord, we can't do without you, my Father. That is why we have come to you this morning. I pray, precious Redeemer, that you will take absolute control. Lord, I ask you, Holy Ghost, my Father, in glory, take absolute control over our life, over our soul, over our spirit this morning. Lord, that you will have your way, my Father, in glory. I invite you, O oh Lord, into the life of your children, where we gather right now, where your children are. I pray, my Father, that, Lord, your spirit, Lord, we move all over the world, because I know, my Father, in glory, that distance is not a barrier. Father, have your way this morning. That at the end, O oh Lord, my Father, your name alone be glorified. Blessed be the holy name, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If you are there, you... Amen. Amen. God bless you Amen. now. We are, going to, we are going to go in the diverse of prayer. If you are there, when I say in Jesus' name, you... you you raise up your voice. But we are going to Dabas prayer. This morning, I want you to move out of where you are. And then I begin to tell the Lord, Lord, as I move out right now where I am, Lord, I move out away from the cave that the enemy has kept me. I move out away from darkness that the enemy has brought into blood. I move out away from the poverty. I move out away from barriers. I move out away right now. I don't know that sickness that will be in your back. That sickness that will be holding you right now. That thing that will be moving in your body like a moving object. You can protect your eyes and go back. You can go back on that choice. Is it lazy frustration? Is it dryness? Is it hardship? You can to tell the Lord, Lord, I will be out right now. I'm blessed right now. I'm blessed with your mind. I'm blessed with your mind. I move out the way of the failure from that last minute disappointment from that department. I move out the way from solo solo. I move out the way from the most that we have to do. I move out the way right now from failure. That the Lord alone it can be on the one. Jesus, Jesus, that Lord, your word is in the first morning. Oh Lord, my God, Lord, as your children they have moved out now, Lord, I move them out the way from solo. Lord, I move them, my father. Lord, I pray, my father. Lord, the kingdom of the people, the people of the father, concerning the Lord, we must not let that be to come to back. Lord, the Lord is enough, my father. 
Now this is the time, my father, for you to prove yourself. This is the time, my father, for you to show my father you have the final set. God, this morning I am praying, oh Lord, that you will do that which you have been coming to do. Lord, you will do that which you have my father to have been coming to do. Lord, I pray as they go back, I want them to have my body, and I want them to have my soul, and I want them to have my sickness, and I want them to have my failure, and I want them to have my hardship. Holy Ghost, my Father, in glory, take us all of your throne this morning. Your way, my Father, in the most. That at the end, oh Father, we will have the cause to be passed. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. In the book of Psalm 91, Psalm 1, Psalm 1, verse 1, it said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the castle of the ungodly, nor sitteth in the way of the sinners, nor standing in the seat of the discovery, but his delight is in the, in the law of the Lord, and his, his law doeth him meditate day and night. And uh, you can see, it says, Blessed is the man that decided to walk to, to separate a will from sin. This morning you are going to tell the Lord, Lord, I have decided already time ago to, to, to separate a will from sin. But if you have not yet separated away from sin, you can tell the Lord this morning I separate. But if you have separated already, you have argument there. It's a blessed is the man that walk. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Blessed is the person who gave his life for who gave his life to Christ. This morning you are giving your life. You are beginning to tell the Lord, Lord, where is my blessing? Give me that which belongs to me, because it is his word. You hold him by his word. Lord, give me that my blessing this morning. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man that decided not to tell us. Blessed is the man that decided not to corner God. Blessed is the man that decided not to not to follow all those people that are living in immorality, living in fornication, dying in sin. But blessed is the man. What is blessing we are talking about? Blessing of good health, blessing of joy, blessing of a, a blessing of riches, blessing of protection, blessing of success. Begin to tell the Lord, Lord, I need my blessing. Hold the word of God because the word of God is true. Tell the Lord this morning, give me that blessing. Talk to God this morning. Talk to God. Yes, your Father, in glory. We have come on to you, my Father, in glory. Lord, we are asking you, Father, this is your word, my Father. You said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the castle of the living God, from sin, in the sin of the sinners. Bless your Father, I ask you, Father, let my blessing be given unto me. Lord, the blessing of God, my Father, for you to establish that which you have spoken concerning me. This morning, my father, in glory, that you will pour out your blessing upon us, my father, as we have decided to do that, as we have decided to separate away from sin, as we have decided, my father, that we will set our life on to you, but the hour is now for us to begin to enjoy the blessing of good health, the blessing of progression, the blessing of flourishes, the blessing of Lord, my father, that man, I will be on a single sin, Lord, a single sin, the blessing. Those are looking for the fruit of the womb, but are getting children. Those are looking for the divorce, are looking for children. Those are looking for one another, my father. If nobody can look at this, I pray this morning, father, I want you to have your word. Blessed is the man that walks and not in the way of the sinners. Oh, precious father, let your name be my son. 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 In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's read them. Let's read it. Some three. 
the street in Santiri, our father was talking, was teaching us a message in the book of Santiri. We are going to take some prayer, vital prayer point there for us to, for us to really uh, know that God is alive. Let's take a Santiri. Santiri, if we read verse 1, are we there? Are we there? Are we there in the people on Zoom, Santiri? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Why would they be increasing people that are troubling me? They will not increase anymore. Are you hearing me? People that yes, trouble sir. you should be mm-hmm. How? Why would they be increasing? They are troubling you without no reason. Why would they be increasing? Now we are going to tell the law, such people, God should give them unnecessary law. They will decrease. They will not increase anymore. They will not increase in their wickedness. We are going to pray. I don't know how all those people that are troubles you. I don't know where they are increasing. I don't know the area. Are they increasing in sources? Are they increasing in wickedness? But this morning they are coming down. This morning, I said they are coming down. Those are troubles. Your Amen. Life. They are coming down. Amen. Those are troubles. Your head. Those are troubles. You will not increase anymore. Why can't you open your mouth and tell the Lord? Lord, those are troubles. Me, I don't increase anymore. The Lord is for the Lord to judge these people. Do what are troubles. They trouble your mind. They trouble your head. They trouble your life. They trouble your wife. They trouble your husband. They trouble your family. How will this increase? Why? Why would they be increased? Why the Lord will bring them down? That's your father this morning. We will come. No, we have come to you because we are the chief judgment. We have come to you. 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 We have the power. So you have the mechanism to do anything you want to do. Father, all those are bad. Those are so sweet. Those are so good. 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 so to Amen. 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 There are people that hold your picture. There are people that hold your name. They have taken to native daughters. They are troubling you with your image. But this hour, they are going to fall. <laughs> we are going to Amen. pray this morning. Every children where they have taken your picture to. A sister was telling me yesterday. How somebody that she had carry her picture to where, where they, they, they carry her picture to somewhere and they begin to plan so that where she's walking for them to hit her, even though if they return there, that uh, they will say that uh, they will not accept her there anymore. But you know, the sister really went there. And at the end, the people say they don't know you anymore. We have not, this sister has been working with them. And the sister entered Malatia. And at the end, these people said they don't know her anymore. They don't know whether you are working here before. We don't even know you. Friend, but why will these people begin to increase? How is it going to be possible? How is it going to be possible? We are going to pray for that person, that particular person that carried that our sister name to Nichi daughter. We are going to pray if it is in this euro. My brothers and sisters, she will walk like a jackknife and she will eat like ants. 
We are going to pray sorrow will not depart away from her because the Bible says, Whosoever that digger the pit shall fall on it. I don't know who holds the picture up and down. They are using that picture against you. They are walking against you day and night. They are making condition in your head. They hold your name. They put it in Shura. They are praying, right? Oh, my brothers and sisters, I say, pray any man or woman. And say the person came to you and confess to you. If the person refuses to confess to you right now, I tell you there is power in the name of the Lord. Begin to pray right now. All those that hold the picture of your children, the picture of your husband, the picture of your wife, fragrance and sister, I say pray this morning and hear the Lord, let that shine, that fire this morning. Is it altar? Is it altar? Is it pastor? Is it prophet? They have taken the picture to my face. If you don't feel that, let the Holy Ghost fire bring them down this morning. Lord, you know is the one. I know what the Lord can do. I know you are my fighter. Lord, you are my fighter. Lord, you are my Father, <laughs> Thank you, Father, in the way. For you be the glorified. In Jesus' name we have prayed. We are Amen. We are going to pray every evil altar. Evil altar where they have presented your case to. Evil altar for your father's company, for your mother's company, or where you married, or where you are. Evil altar where any any evil decision has been made concerning your life we are going to pray right now that the lord will bring that daughter because my bible made me to understand it says they shall surely gather because of the garden was not planted by god lord that garden will not stand i don't know the evil altar where they have generated sickness, where they have generated arrow into your body system, begin to send them back right now. Whatever altar they have taken my matter to, let that altar receive thunder. Let that altar be broken right now. Let that altar be destroyed. Evil altar in my father's papa. Lord, evil altar. Altar of sorrow. Altar, my father. Evil altar. Father, they have made pronunciation. Evil pronunciation concerning my life. Concerning any man or woman. Hear my voice this morning. Father, let out. Father, I pray that daughter will not die. No, 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 daughter will die. Because you are the great man of God. Father, I pray that daughter. I cry unto the Lord in the book of Psalm 3, verse 4. He said, I cry unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me. He, he had me not of his holy he seller. Look at uh, and uh, look at the uh, verses. I will not be afraid of the of the ten thousand of people that what that have set their self against me around about. Ten thousand people that rise up their self, people that set their self to what will bring you down. Why will you be afraid? 
God is going to bring them down. God is going to bring them down. God is going to persuade them. And God is going to arise. Arise, O oh Lord, save me, O oh my God. For thou hast what has made all my enemy upon the upon the cheek bone, upon the cheek bone. Thou hast broken the teeth of the of the ungodly. God is going to break all their teeth, all the wicked one, all the wicked one that have been rising up against you. God is going to frustrate them. All you need to know, because the Bible said the battle is not of you, the battle is of the Lord. But this morning we are going to pray. We are going to pray. All those evil, evil load they have given you to carry in Europe, in America, in US, where you are, evil load, they must carry their load. <laughs> I say evil load, I don't know the load they have given you. Is it the load of no marriage? Is it the load of no, no children? Is it the load of no documents? You are just like oil on top of water. You are going up and down. You don't know where you are going. You don't know where you are coming. All these are load of frustration. The load of tiredness, the road oh, that you will come to time that you will hang yourself or I don't know the evil, evil call they are calling you in Africa. They want to call you, they want to deport you, they want to send you back because of that. They are using you, you they want you to say to go and tell the police, police deport me because I, I am tired of life. Brother, is a lie. Your enemy are going to be the one to tire because the Lord said, I'm going, is going to break them. We are going to tell the Lord this morning to break all the evil agenda concerning your life. Tell the Lord evil agenda, agenda of hell, agenda of sorrow, agenda of sicknesses, all those evil agenda, evil load that have been given to me, begin to tell the, now, the, the owner of the load, let him carry the load, that load. Hey, brother, pray and talk to God. Tell God to, to destroy them, all their load, where they have used Abba, where they have used key to padlock your life. They have padlocked your life that nothing good will come out of you. On that day, Philip said to Nathaniel, Philip said, can anything come out of Nazareth? That was the question. Fresh, I tell you today, they are still saying, can anything, let's see that nothing good will come out of you, but something good is going to come out of you. Pray and talk to God to frustrate all the program of the evil man. Every evil man that will be touching you, let that hand paralyze. Brother, pray, sister, pray. Evil hand that will be touching you. Evil eyes that will be looking at you when you are sleeping. Evil eyes. And when you go outside, you are facing bad luck. You are facing bad luck. Bad luck. Bad luck of life. Tell the Lord right now. I break, break me out of bad luck. Evil bad luck. I break that bad luck. Break it out of my life this month. Oh, you cannot find that. And can I lock up the G? You alone is the Lord. Father, you alone is the Father of all spirit. That is all the program of the evil doer. Concerning evil Lord, my Father. Evil Lord of dryness. Evil Lord, my Father, spiritual dryness, physical dryness, financial dryness. Evil Lord. Frustration, my father, let him be found to send that fresh of power. You are going to break all the enemy, you are going to break their feet of the wicked one, my father. And we call show after our last, and after our time, not to shine. Father, I pray this morning, oh Lord, that you may be there, my father, be glorified. Go ahead, Lord, my father. Do your work in our life, Lord. Jesus name we have prayed. In Jesus name we have prayed. We are still going. To, we are still going to pray. If you read the book of uh, Philippians, Ephesians, yes, you read the book of Ephesians. Ephesians make us to understand something. Ephesians chapter two. Or no, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17. It said that the God of our the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The God of our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom. And revelation in the knowledge of him. You are going to pray 
the God of heaven will give you wisdom. A time like this, you need wisdom. If you don't have wisdom, you are finished a time like this. A time like this, you need the revelation. This, that God will give you revelation for you to really know what is ahead, what is happening around you. You need it. That the, the understanding, or that you will have the understanding of him. Pray this morning and talk to God. So talk to God this morning, Lord. I need your no wisdom. Lord, give me the spirit of word of revelation. I need the spirit of wisdom and revelation that I may know your will. Pray, pray this morning and talk to God. Eternal rock of aging, you alone is the father that never lies. You alone is the God that never fails. Precious Father, I pray, Holy Ghost that you will give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation my father to know your will precious father every spiritual oh lord my father spiritual death my father i refuse to be dead Holy Ghost, i ask you this morning oh lord that we, you will have your way in the life of your children i ask you Holy Ghost, this morning lord you will come down my father and do that which you were decided to do lord my father in glory and thank god the revelation that at the end my father will know my father what we should know Holy Ghost, i pray my father let your light shine over us oh lord for us to go your way this Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If you read that, that, if you read verse 18, said, The eyes of your understanding be enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what is the riches of the glory of the inheritance in the saints. That the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. Tell the Lord, Lord, let my eyes of understanding be enlightened. A, a, a blind man cannot be, cannot lead a blind man. You are going to pray and talk to God this morning. Tell the Lord, Lord, let my eyes of understanding be enlightened. That I may know, I that I may know, said that ye may know what is the hope of his calling. What is the hope of his calling? You have not known what is the hope of his calling in your life. You don't, you have not known his calling in your life, but you need to pray, Lord, let my eyes of understanding be enlightened. Enlighten my eyes of understanding. Pray and talk to God this morning. Pray is only some point that have the eyes of understanding that will survive in the time that is that, that is that is in the world right now, and that they will come also to the world time to time, because there are things that will come time to time. Why can't you pray for eyes of understanding? For God to give you the eyes of understanding that you may know what is the hope of his calling. If you did not fulfill his calling, brother, it's going to be a terrible thing. Pray this morning. Oh, precious Father, you alone is a father. that never lie, you alone is my Lord. Father, I pray, my Father, that my eyes of understanding be enlightened, that I may know, my Father, the hope of your calling. Precious Redeemer, I ask you, precious Father, I ask you, precious Redeemer, let the eyes of your children be enlightened, that they may know the hope of their calling, my Father, they will know the day that you have called them. Oh, it goes have your way, my Father, in glory, that at the end, oh Lord, my Father, what will we have to cause to go to the go take absolute control, my father. Lord, let my eyes be enlightened. Let the eyes of your children be enlightened. Lord, my father, take away that skin. That skin that covers our eyes. That skin will black that in glory. Blind us, let that skin, my father, be taken out of our eyes. In every ghost, we have the cause of joy. Blessed be the holy name of God. For oh, in Jesus' name we have prayed. We are going to pray Amen. for this morning. God will revive us. Many of you, you have dry spiritually. You are dry spiritually. You can't pray as you used to pray anymore. Many of you cannot read Bible as you used to read it again. Because the spiritual dryness is coming. The spiritual dryness is there. But you are going to pray. <laughs> For Satan to succeed to kill you, Satan will first of all, if, if you Satan succeed to dry your spiritual life, if Satan succeed to kill your spiritual life, brothers, that is when that is when the trouble will come. 
that is when the trouble will come. Is it that so see of what or destroy your spiritual life? You are going to pray, Lord, my spiritual life, all the program of the evil one concerning my spiritual journey. Let him not stand. Brothers and sisters, pray for revival. You need a revival. You know what I'm talking about. You are not dry that you can pray anymore. Even as we are praying now, you are not even praying. You don't know you, why you can't pray. We are praying now. You are not praying. Brothers and sisters, such a person, you are able to stand the people that are in the hospital. You are sick. You need a healing. But I am praying for you this morning. The Lord will heal you. Why can't you cry unto him this morning? Why can't you tell him, Lord, I am sick, Lord. Lord, I need your healing. Lord, give my spiritual life. Lord, give me this morning. Fresh I am asking you, Father, in truth. I call on you this morning, Father, because we are sick spiritually. Lord, we are sick spiritually. Father, we need that revival. Lord, we need that great revival in our lives. My Thank you, Father, because you are going to come closer to you. Holy Spirit, have your way this morning. Amen. Thank you because you are worthy, Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Finally, we are going to pray this prayer. Every agreement of death, if we not stand, let's begin to cancel agreement of untimely death. I refuse to die and I refuse to bury any member of this group. Spiritual debt, physical debt, financial debt, begin to cancel it right now. I refuse to bury my children. I refuse to bury my grandchildren. I refuse to bury any member of this group. It, it will not stand, whether it will come to pass. Let's pray that the Holy Ghost will keep us in the bosom of his hand. Let's pray. <laughs> no, no, the Satan program will stand. <laughs> no, because I know what you can do. Yes, in the whole Lord of his hand, I am safe whatever that time is. Lord, I want to thank you, Father. I want to bless you, Father. You are able to forsake all the program for Satan. You are able to eliminate Satan and Jezebel. All the Jezebel kingdom must fall. Father, don't that Jezebel have all cut in my father. In glory, Lord, I pray my father in glory. Father, if you don't stand there, that you can come and Lord, I pray to Father this morning, my Father, every spiritual death, physical death, my Father, 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 my we have the cause to rejoice, O Lord, for in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. And finally, we are going to pray. You know, a few days ago, I was telling you in the all night about how, what I saw about Jezebel, the multitude that Jezebel have four cities. But we are going to send the kingdom of Jezebel on fire this morning. All those that are in the cage. All those that are in prison in the hand of Jay-Z bear, the Lord of heaven will set them free. Right now, where they are, where Satan has all cut him, let's pray for freedom. I saw them multitude they are on their way to hell. Right now, we are going to pray, Lord, to deliver those that are on their way to hell. God will save them. Let's pray it right now. Freedom from the power of Jezebel. That Jezebel kingdom must fall. Jezebel kingdom must fall. Jezebel, I say your kingdom must fall in the name of Jesus. Jesus rebuke you. Jesus is against you right now. Father, all the kingdom of Jezebel, Lord, I pray my father, you know that kingdom must fall. Father, bring that kingdom down. 
Amen. Thank you, Lord. Brother Sonny, round out this prayer. Conclude this prayer as the Lord lead you to pray this morning. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord. We worship you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, O oh, gracious Father, for this wonderful morning. Thank you, O oh, Lord, for your new direction, O oh, Lord. Lord, we appreciate you. We give you thanks. We give you all the glory. Thank you, O oh, Lord, for all you have done. Thank you for the life you are set free this morning. Thank you for the blessings you have released upon your children. Thank you, O oh, Lord, for what you have done in Good Morning Jesus Family Foundation this morning. Thank you for the freedom you are released to your children. Thank you, O oh, Lord, for the hurt you are giving to your children. Thank you, O blessed Father, for this morning you have come through your servant, O Lord, to release us, to set us free for every evil kingdom. Lord, as we pray this morning, we destroy all the kingdom of darkness, all the kingdom of Jezebel. Lord Jesus, so shall it be in heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, may our voice be heard in this world in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the voice of good morning Jesus family foundation be heard in this world in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, this good morning Jesus family foundation will not be hidden. Lord, you will set up on top of the mountain. Our voice must be heard. Good morning Jesus family foundation. This voice must be heard in the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for all your children as you set us free this morning. I am very happy for what happened this morning, for how you use your servant. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I believe those kingdom where enemy have been taking our picture to, that kingdom may receive fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we command the Holy Ghost fire to fall in that kingdom. We command the rock of ages to fall in that kingdom. And that kingdom shall be granted to power in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you, O God, for the freedom. I know you release freedom upon all your children. Wounds have been opened. Healings have be received in the name of Jesus Christ. Joblessness have been taken away in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you are open the wounds of our children. Those who are conceived, they will deliver in health. They will deliver in peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I thank you for your servant. You use this great, wonderful morning. Father, you are the God that's given him this vision. This vision will not die in his hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, through him, oh God, this vision will rob the world. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray for wisdom upon him. Give him more wisdom to take this group to the next level. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for more for more head upon him, for more grace, for more power, for more strength to do your work. In the name of Jesus Christ, what we'll bring other pastors down, it will not bring it down. What we'll for other pastors he will not for him. Lord, you will lift him up with your mighty hand in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you because the blood of Jesus has set us free. Thank you because the blood of Jesus has lifted us higher. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless all of you in Jesus.